What is up everybody? Renfell here and as you can see I've got a bird crawling around here flying around uh, my main character which is really really cool. This is the falconer which I actually unlocked yesterday during the live stream so if you're here for that you already saw my elation when I finally was finally able to move away from the rogue base class and actually specialize into what I had been aiming towards from the beginning of this character's um, process which was getting to the falconer and getting the bird and starting to combine that with what I like to do which is the bow now you can play your falconer however you want this is my version of the falconer this is my build guide so if you like this don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell icon so you never miss an update daily streams happen between here and on twitch there's a discord i play a lot of games check out all the playlists there's a patreon i'm a fantasy and sci-fi author my latest book links are down below but before we get to any of that let's get through this guide and teach you guys all about what I love about the Falconer and sort of my basic build guide for the lower level version of this character because I just got here the other day so this is not like the advanced guide or the ultimate beginner's guide. We'll get to those later on as we get deeper into the gameplay. I'm also working on a primalist who's probably going to go towards the shaman route. There's a guide out for that as well if you want to check that out but in the meantime let's go ahead and take a peek at this. So uh in this case I leveled up initially as a rogue because you don't have any option when you're doing it that way. You have to start off as a rogue and when you get to the end of the first chapter and you've spent 20 points in your tree, you can then unlock your first mastery. Um, in this case, um, I went with falconer. Now you could technically, I believe, take points in any of these, but I wanted falconry because you get a bird. It's a falcon that flies with you and does falcon strikes which rapidly hits many enemies in the target area. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, I'm a big fan of Beastmasters in general. So I play one in World of Warcraft. I did Pillars of Eternity 1 and 2 with the Beastmaster. I've done a Beastmaster in Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, Icewind Dale 1 and 2. Like any place you know, I've ever been able to do a Beastmaster, I've done it. Um, working on one uh, passively in Baldur's Gate 3 as well. So I'm just a huge fan of the pew pew with some sort of animal to attack. And the Falcon just sounds freaking amazing. So in order to get to this point, I had to spend passives in the rogue tree to build my character the way I wanted to go. So let's take a look at the passive tree first and then we'll take a look at my actives and what I'm using and why I'm using those skills. So, so far um, I've got eight points in swift assassin. I've got five points in steady hand. I've got three points in dodge and parry. And I've got four points in sapping strikes. This one's pretty good. Um, because anytime you hit an enemy, you gain health and mana. So leeches are always going to be keen to uh, helping your character survive. Um, so I'm a big fan of that right there. Um, now on the falconer side of things, I've only got one point so far. So I've put it into wilderness scout. And I'm probably going to continue to work on this one. Just because I think that any point that you get more health is always going to be a good thing. And dodge factor is never bad. But let's take a look at the active skills that I'm using. Um, we can go on the bottom here on my hotbar right here. You see that um, I'm using flurry, acid flask, shift, falcon strikes, um, and then um, why does it say press A to give your minions an attack command? I guess we'll figure out that later. Um, and cinder strike. Why does it say that? Because they're already doing it. Um, who knows? Um, and then Cinder Strike. So my primary ability in this case is Cinder Strike, with my backup ability being Flurry, because um, uh, Flurry, I've put some points um, into. Oh no, that's right, that's right. Never mind. I took those away when I when I did this morning. <laughs> Don't listen to me on that point. Uh, Cinder Strike is my primary, and I'm putting. Um, points into my falconry as my secondary. So with Cinder Strike, I initially put five points into Ignition, which gave me a chance to ignite enemies and in ignites inflicted by the first attacks have increased duration. And then I started putting points into Firewalker. Now as far as falconry goes, so far I've put one point into the journey, which deals more global damage per character level, per point of dex, but I'm currently working on Falconer's Mark which um, deals more damage and consumes the mark. And we'll eventually get to things like Hunter's Spoils. Um, we're going to be working our way down. We'll probably work our way there as quickly as possible. I'll probably max this out. Um, I could just choose to take a point away from there if I wanted to, but um, we'll probably go there as quickly as possible just so we can get an additional leech. Um, but I think just leech overall makes for better gameplay because it helps you survive when you're running low on potions. So what this looks like, let me pick up the controller here. 
button up so that we can actually do something here. There we go. So acid flasks, chuck an acid flask um, at enemies. Uh, this is my um, swift move. What's it called here? Shift. So this is shift, which allows you to go through things. X. This is my rapid fire um, flurry. And then um, this is my primary. It does cool things. It does explosions and stuff. It's awesome. We'll see. Let, let's go do some combat. Let's see if I can find some combat really here. Quick here to show you guys what I'm talking about when we get into this. I think... Quick commercial break, everyone, to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time. Really appreciate the support. All you got to do is join as a member. You get access to private videos. You can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see. And beyond that, don't forget we're multi-streaming over on Twitch now, so you can support over there as well. Thanks so much to everybody. Let's get back to the video at hand. Ah, here we go. So my bird is actively taking care of things for me, which is amazing. <laughs> These are low level, so I'm just going to go around and grab a whole bunch so you can see what some of this looks like. So let's, let's do Acid Flask. That's what Acid Flask looks like. Here's my main bow shot. It's pretty cool, huh? I like it. Then you can go over here. Well, let's find some more bad guys to use my rapid shot. Now, obviously, these are low level, so we're mowing through them. You can kind of get a glimpse of what this looks like. Okay, explosions and everything else that we're doing. Not happening. So this is essentially my... Um, I prefer to play this character with the bow, but you are not relegated to the bow if you don't want to. You can play this character with daggers, with a staff, with swords. It just depends on what you want to use, what weapon you want to use. Um, I like the bow because I like to do things from a distance, and the falcon is really good at uh, helping destroy things, as you can see. Um, so it's a lot of fun. Uh, I was initially uh, thinking I might want to go like more of a marksman build, but so far I've been very pleased with this so far. And if you look at my passives, um, like I've got a bunch of other skills here in the actives, like I'm never gonna use umbral strikes, I don't care about puncture or decoy or ballista or smoke bomb. Um, more than likely, when I get to level 20, um, the thing here is I need to start working on these. So I need to spend points in the falconer passive tree. So I'm going to start to be working my way across the bottom here because I want to be able to get all of these. The explosive trap, net, aerial assault, dive bomb. So these are going to be the primary abilities that I end up slotting up here as I get to 20, 35, 50, and so on and so forth. Um, big fan of the way the falconer plays right now. Um, I'm still torn about whether or not I think the Druid is more fun than the Falconer, but I'm not deep enough into the Primalist yet. I said Druid, I meant Primalist, because I'll probably go Shaman with that. So I'll know more here in probably another week or two of gameplay about whether or not I prefer the Primalist you know, versus the Falconer. Or it'll be the Shaman by that point where I prefer the Shaman to the Falconer. So far, the Falconer plays exactly like I wanted it to play, and I'm having a lot of fun. So... Um, love to hear your thoughts. If you are also playing a Falconer, drop those down in the comments below. And as always, if you want more, all you got to do is like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Daily streams here and on Twitch. Play a lot of different games. Check them out. There's playlists. There's a Discord. There's a Patreon. You can get a copy of my latest fantasy novel down below. I'll see everybody in the next one. Stay safe. Happy gaming.